Pro Tools now lets you easily monitor instrument tracks triggered from external MIDI controllers, sequencers, or even other MIDI tracks. Enabling the I button on an instrument track puts it into a live monitoring mode that can either be fed from MIDI controllers or even from another instrument track's MIDI chain output. To use instrument track input monitoring, click the track's I button. You will now hear live input when playing your MIDI controller. Multiple instrument tracks can be input monitored enabled simultaneously, useful for creating instrument layers or triggering tracks from multiple MIDI controllers. There is a preference under the MIDI tab that will link input monitoring to track selection, allowing you to move your controller's focus between different tracks quickly and audition any instrument track just by selecting it. This replaces the default through follow selected track preference for a more informative solution. Notice that the input button is dimmed slightly in this case, compared to tracks where you've manually engaged input mode. Input monitoring can also be used to trigger an instrument track from another instrument or MIDI track. For this example, we have an instrument track set with an arpeggiator plugin controlling a VI on its track, and we want this arpeggiator to also control another VI, and then layer the two sounds together. First, set the MIDI input selector on the track you want to control with the MIDI chain out of the controlling track. Next, enable input monitoring on the second track. Now when the transport rolls, the arpeggiator plays both the VI on its instrument track and the VI on the second instrument track. Like audio tracks, instrument tracks that are record armed are in input monitor mode or automatically put into low latency mode with delay compensation disabled. This gives you a responsive, low latency experience when playing instruments from your MIDI controller. However, in some situations you may wish to override this and force delay compensation to stay on. The main example of this is plugins that have an internal sequencer, like Pro Tools Groove Cell. In this example, there's a large system delay caused by plugins with high latency on an audio track playing back a loop. In normal playback, Groove Cell plays in time with the loop. However, if its track is in input or record mode, it will sound out of time. This is because the internal sequencer clock is no longer adjusted for the system delay like the other tracks. This can be an issue if you have input mode linked to selection, or if you want to route MIDI into the plugin to control parameters with CC controls, for example. MIDI delay compensation can be enabled by right-clicking the track header and checking the option. The I button will turn blue to indicate this. Now Groove Cell's sequencer will play in time with any track mode. Input monitoring on instrument tracks is not only a practical function, but it can also be used in many creative applications as well.